Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steve Wells, and today we're gonna to be talking about a really important topic, especially if you're training for half marathon or marathon, or if you run in a really hot environment, and that is hydration. So we're not gonna be talking too much about what you should be drinking or how much you should be drinking. We're gonna be talking more about how you can carry water, how you can plan your routes, so that you can have access to water, but without it being super inconvenient. I say hydration is a super important topic because no matter what shoes you're wearing or what shirt you're wearing, what kind of socks you use, that kind of thing, it doesn't really matter that much. But hydration is something that is actually pretty serious when it comes to doing longer runs. You can end up in the hospital or even die if you aren't correctly hydrating. But before we get too far into this, be sure to head down into the description, click the link to my Patreon down there. That's the best way to support my channel and help keep me doing what I'm doing. So back on topic here, when should you be taking water with you? For me personally, I like to take water when I'm out there for more than maybe say an hour if I'm doing like six to eight miles or more, I'll usually have some kind of hydration with me. I'll also take water with me when it's really hot outside. So say it's 95 degrees out and I'm going out for two or three miles in the middle of the day or something like that. I'm definitely gonna be taking water with me then too. Um, not only to just kind of have something to sip on and stay hydrated throughout the run, but also it's convenient you can Put it on your head put it on your neck or wrists or whatever to help cool you down as well but you're not going to be able to take a glass of water with you you're not going to be able to stop somewhere that has water every mile so how are you going to be carrying your water with you one idea that i think will work really well for a lot of people is a handheld water bottle um i couldn't find mine i have no idea where it went so this is my girlfriend's but I have a very similar one. Um, mine's Nathan, this one's um, Amphipod. Doesn't really matter too much what brand you're getting. They're all gonna do pretty much the same thing and that is hold some water. Now there are a bunch of different ones. There's insulated ones. There's ones that have a thing that you pull up like that. There's ones that you just squeeze and the water comes out. There's ones with different pockets, different size ones that will fit different people's hands differently and that kind of thing. Um, whatever you end up getting is probably fine. If you possibly could, go into a store and try a couple, just see how they fit on your hand, see how it might feel running with it. It would probably be helpful, but if you're not able to do that, it's probably not the end of the world. So like I was saying, these do come in a bunch of different sizes, so you really do have some flexibility here. Um, if you get something around like 12 to 18 ounces, you'll probably be fine on most runs. Um, I will usually, if I'm using just a handheld, make sure that it is either a little bit shorter of a run or that I have somewhere like a water fountain that I know is all along the route that I can refill there. As far as convenience goes, Handheld water bottle is towards the top of the list. You can just take the cap off, fill it up whenever you need to, put it back on. When you're done, just dump it out and um, you can get like a bottle brush, just clean out inside of there and you're good to go. Not too much fuss in keeping this clean, refilling it, that type of thing. But there are some drawbacks. If you are going out on a longer run, and you don't have anywhere to refill, you might wanna think about carrying water in a different way because you are going to probably run out if you only have 12 ounces of water with you. Also, another issue with handheld water bottles is while they are designed to fit well on your hand and you can switch them during the run, running with it can get kind of annoying. I've found if I'm doing a longer run and refilling, say I'm doing um, 15 to 20 miles or something like that, it will actually start kind of making my arm and shoulder sore, just that constant movement um, with that tiny little bit of extra weight in your hand 
can get annoying after a while. My next method for carrying some water with you is soft flasks. So there's a couple different ways you can carry these. Some people will put them in like a belt like this, fill them up and just stick them in there so that you can reach and pull it out whenever you need to. I tend not to do that just because I find that it bounces a lot on my waist and kind of annoys me. And if I'm going to be carrying only this amount of water, I would probably just take a handheld water bottle with me. But I do a lot of times use these in a pack so you can slide it down in the front pockets of a lot of different packs that are designed for this, probably even come with soft flasks. Um, slide it down in there. You can carry two of them or sometimes I'll carry two in the front and even throw an extra one in the back for if the one of these runs out, I can switch it out. You can do some kind of electrolyte drink in one of them, water in the other one, however you wanna do it. But these are great because they're kind of an in-between between a handheld water bottle and a bladder like this. Um, they're going to not carry as much as the bladder, but they're gonna carry more than the water bottle. They are kind of easier to clean than the bladder, not quite as easy to clean as the water bottle easier to refill than the bladder, not as easy to refill as the water bottle. So while it's not all wonderful, none of it is terrible. That's why if I'm doing a run that I'm not gonna be able to refill, but I know that I'm going to need more than I can carry in just a handheld, I will usually be using two or three of these. My next option is something that I actually don't have but that is a belt with water bottles on it. So there are belts that you can get, usually have some kind of pocket, and then have two water bottles that kind of look similar to like a handheld water bottle type design to them so that you can pull it out of the belt and drink out of it and stick it back in there when you're done. Now these seem like a really good option because it has the clean ability of a handheld, but you can carry more with you and it frees up your hands. However, every one that I've used, I've found bounces a lot on my waist. And I've just never found one that didn't bounce enough that it was usable for me. If you have any recommendations for ones that don't bounce that I should try out, definitely leave them down in the comments. I would love to try them out but at this point, I just haven't found one that works well for me. But if you don't think that that bouncing would be an issue for you, that's definitely another good option to keep in mind. And my last water carrying method, the one that I usually try to avoid is the hydration bladder. So these things will usually go in kind of pack like this um, and you'll have to fill it up, seal it up, get the tube down into it, root that tube up through your pack into the front, and then you can drink out of it from there. So these are actually really nice if you're doing a super long run and you're not gonna have any water along the way. If I'm doing something maybe 20 miles plus and I'm not gonna have any access to water during that, I will definitely be using this because it is the best way to carry the most water that I've found. I'll even for some runs combine this with a soft flask in the front so I can put um, like electrolyte drink in this and just do water in the front for when I want to sip just plain water or this and two soft flasks in the front if I really know that it's hot outside and I'm gonna be going far, I need as much water as possible. But I was saying I usually try to avoid this for a couple of different reasons. One, something like this is gonna be a lot more expensive to get into than a handheld water bottle. So you can get a handheld water bottle for $30 maybe, $20. But if you're looking at a pack like this, that's gonna be more in the $100 range, um, maybe like $80 for a cheaper one, $150 for a really nice one. 
And so if you're not going to be doing those super long runs, it's probably not totally necessary. Another issue with these is that they're a pain to refill. Um, I know there are some other ones that unscrew on the front and are probably a little bit easier to refill than this one. I think that's Camelback that has that design. But either way, it's still going to be a pain because you have to take this off and then open it up, pull this out, refill it, get it all put back in and readjust it in there. If you're doing a race, you're probably going to go into an aid station and if you hand this to someone, they can just refill it without asking you any questions. If you hand this to someone, they're not gonna have any idea what to do half the time and you end up doing it yourself or having to kind of guide them through how to do it and you're not able to take care of other things in those few minutes that you're in the aid station. Another drawback of these is that they're kind of a pain to clean. Um, once you fill them, then the best way I've found to clean it is to empty it out, which is kind of a pain in its own, and then you have to turn the entire thing inside out and scrub it out. Um, there are kits that you can get. I have one that I have tried to use to clean this a little bit better, and they definitely do help some, but it's still much harder than a handheld water bottle or a soft flask to clean. And so if I'm just trying to run out the door and get some miles in, this is not going to be the thing that I'm grabbing. But if I'm doing a longer run and I know I need a lot of water, definitely a go-to. So when am I going to be using each one of these? I've kind of talked about, but I'm going to be using a handheld for shorter runs, runs that I know that I can refill regularly. I'm going to be using soft flasks for kind of medium long runs, um, longer runs that I might be able to refill every um, 10 miles or so. And I'm going to be using bladder whenever I know that I'm going to be out there for a long time and I don't know when I'm going to be able to get more water. So if I had to recommend one of these options to someone watching this video, what would I recommend? Probably the handheld water bottle. You're going to get the most use out of it because it's just sitting there ready to go whenever you are. It's the easiest to clean. It's not necessarily going to carry the most water but you can always figure out ways to stash water somewhere or stop back home whenever you need to refill, stop back at your car, have more water in there, plan routes that you know a water fountain is on the way and that kind of thing. And even if you're doing 20 or 30 or 100 miles, if you can stop regularly to refill, this would work perfectly fine for you. But if you can have all of these, then by all means have all of them. They all have their own uses and work very well in conjunction with each other. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Check out the link to my Patreon down there. Leave any questions you've got for me in the comments and I will talk to you guys next week.